Alrighty, it's 17 hours and 22 minutes into the day of Friday, June 22nd. And we have already got our day started, and I'm just getting down to this section here. I looked at the email, I'm gonna get my to get YouTube started. Uh, gonna answer some emails. Uh, May the next forward in uh, working on IPTV. If anyone's interested in IPTV, let me know. Uh, I'm already hooking up one customer. Uh, I will be more than willing to help you up, help you hook up uh, your IPTV if you want to. Uh, maybe try to get uh, cut down on your cable bills a little bit. Uh, there are a variety of options out there, uh, so uh, we can work on this. I'm also working on beginning a new project this week. Uh, and yeah, this is Friday, <laughs> and these ideas float overnight while I was sleeping. Uh, I had to really set it up, but now I'm moving forward with it faster. I'm working on something known as open internet. That is uh, to keep the internet open and competitive, uh, and not have everything locked up by a few different companies who want you to do everything on their services. Uh, this is kind of what happened up in Canada. Uh, you have a few major ISPs. They've sort of locked everything up. Now there's some new upcoming ISPs, and every time new ISPs try to come up and do any type of business, the major ISPs start, try to lock them out. And then they're, they're locking out YouTube, they're locking out Netflix, and uh, uh, any competitive environment, any competitor to these major ISPs are having a very difficult kind of time coming into Canada because they've basically got a monopoly, and they're protecting their monopoly. The goal here with open internet is to end this whole uh, blockade of the internet by these companies who want to dominate everything. And this would be actually included for governments who want to lock, up, lock people out of the internet uh, and keep them, you know, safe from seeing things that they don't want politically seen. So, uh, open internet is going to be, as it sounds, something based on uh, open source. I'm working on open source for Linux. And I'm already on the refurbished level doing open source hardware, or what we call open hardware. And so uh, this whole internet, open internet content will be open source and open hardware. The goal will be to, play, to, to design a platform geographically independent internet. That means no one geographical body or political body will have control over the internet. Uh, this is what happens now with um, the, uh, the the seizures of, I, uh, of IPs by ISIS and uh, a lot of other uh, uh, these American uh, agencies who uh, quote unquote want to combat piracy. Uh, well, I call them information pirates because uh, I know you know thinking in the United States is now illegal. You're not allowed, you're no longer allowed to do that. You have to do it in um, thinking and free speech are now regulated by the U.S. government, uh, by Obama. Uh, so uh, if you want a free environment uh, to which you want to think how you want to think, you want to say what you want to say, uh, then open, open internet is exactly the way you want to go. It was once upon a time it could be said that uh, it could be said that uh, The United States was the bastion of freedom, but it's no longer the bastion of freedom. That's actually why at the end of my videos you see that the, uh, the freedom rules here, free speech rules here at, at Democratic Earth. Well, that's because the United States is no longer representing the flag. The United States has stopped representing the flag. From about 1990, the United States has really stopped representing the flag. Now they're representing uh, their own selfish interests. They're basically uh, behaving as an imperial power. Uh, and the goal is 
to move back towards uh, an open and individually free society. And that's what democratic earth is because the UN itself now behaves as a governing body. It no longer protects the individual rights and freedoms of, uh, of, of the person. Uh, it goes for social, it goes for the, 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 the benefits of the greater society. And that's all, all these times, every time you have something that says going for the greater benefit of society, this is when you have the Holocaust. This is when you have the gulags in, in, in the Soviet Union. This is when you have millions of people who are unclassified as worthy being people, these, these are or the defects or the, the, uh, the, uh, the unhumans. And uh, in, in Germany, the unhumans were the, were the Jews, and they were they were massacred. Now, in this century, the unhumans are are, 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 are unborn unborn babies, and they're being massacred. Uh, so, if you want an open and free society where one individual is not more important than the other, in other words, you don't have a visible minority and an invisible minority. You have individual rights. Then, democratic earth is going to be that global body that UN, and just the way, uh, just the way, um, what's his name, um, Benjamin Franklin had the idea for the United States and a whole bunch of other people, you know, but he's the one who really, really worked on these things and sort of started disseminating these, disseminating these ideas. This is the way Democratic Earth is. Democratic Earth is being started by me. It's, I did it, started in uh, year 2000, uh, and it's been growing ever since. So I encourage you to, uh, you know, if you need, uh, if you want IPTV, if you want a, a more uh, a variety of choices, support Open Internet. Um, there's going to be a link to it now from now on in, in the down below bar. Uh, click on like. Uh, the more people who like this and, and see it, uh, I think the better this will be for everybody. So uh, we'll go from there. And. Uh, in a few minutes, I'm going to get ready and go to do some food shopping. Uh, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, 4.11. Uh, 4 hours and uh, 11 minutes until the day of uh, Saturday, June 23rd, 2012. And we're continuing on. We're doing our usual all night session. Uh, watching uh, Life with Derek. Got some music in the background. I tried to put the music in the background for the last, uh, last episode. Uh, <laughs> And that narrow crept into the editor, and it uh, it put the uh, the audio the background the backtrack was far too low, uh, and wasn't wasn't where it should be. So uh, I redid the, uh, the redoing the uh, that yesterday's video as a test today, see how it turns out. And so uh, I will, this video, if the test that I'm doing works out. Uh, we'll have a proper backtrack to it uh, uh, tomorrow. Uh, other than that, as you noticed, I've got some new uh, Facebook pages. That's because uh, I've begun sailing into open source and, to, and more particularly into open internet. The goal is to get and achieve net neutrality regardless of what the government says or doesn't say. So this is truly open, independent net neutrality. If you're interested in, in net neutrality, and I'm talking about full, open, unabridged internet net, net neutrality, then this is, the, this is something you should watch. I think this is something that you would have a, a great deal of interest in. And we'll, we'll see where we go with this. You know, I, I hope it works out well. I think there's enough out there to, uh, that we can start putting things together and really push for an open, a truly open internet. Uh, beyond that, uh, I think this is going to be uh, it for today. I might come back and do one more thing if I've got something else to say, but uh, right now... Professor of what? Professor of physics. Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.